class number seven of the course of ultrasound axial anatomy number one florida national university pelvis the ring of bone at the lower end of the trunk within which the pelvic organ lie in pelvis is very important for ultrasound we scan a lot of organs that are in the pelvis more in the female because in the female have the uterus and the ovaries that are very important organ for ultrasound but also urinary bladder in both sex and prostate and seminal vesicles are organ that ultrasound can be used pelvis is a very important area more in female but also in males you are going to scan the pelvis pelvic guild hip bone and sacrum hip bone is a bone that is the mix of other three three fused bones a superior that is called the ilium this one an anterior that is called the pubis and one inferior posterior that is called the ischium all the three fused bone for the hip bones ilium the superior part pubic the anterior part and the ischium that is the posterior part this is the obturator foramen nothing important go through the obturator foramen because the femoral and femoral artery and femoral vein don't enter in the abdominal cavity through the obturator foramen is a foramen but there are not very important structures that go through the obturator foramen the anterior superior iliac spine is very important because it's the determination of the areas of the abdomen you have all a picture here with the three bones that for the pelvis the iliac or hip bone the sacrum are the three bones two hip bones and the sacrum ilium the upper part of the bony pelvis you can see the picture the ilium that is part of the hip bone pubis the anteroventral member of the three bones forming the pelvis pubis is the anterior one one pubis articulate with the pubis of the contrary side there are articulation between the two hip bones and this articulation is between the two pubic bones you can see here the articulation between the right and the left pubic bones the most posterior of the three bones of the pelvic grill is the ischium this is the ischium is the less evident of all the three and this is the obturator foramen and here a very important structure that is the articulation for the femur this is called the acetabulum sacrum curved triangular bone at the base of the spine consisting of five fused vertebra this is easy to remember all the bones of the pelvis are fused bones the sacrum is the five vertebral fused the hip bone is the fused of ilium ischium and pubis all the bones of the pelvic are fused bones you can here have the sacrum with this little part here that is the coccyx and is not 
part of the pelvic girdle. The pelvis is divided in two, the greater and the lesser pelvis, and the interest is that the lesser pelvis is the important one. They are also called the true pelvis. The greater pelvis is a part of the pelvis that really is not as important for us because the organ that we are going to scan are in the lesser pelvis. One line that divide the lesser to the greater pelvis is beginning in the sacrum, the prominence of the sacrum. This is a part that protrude of the sacrum. The arcuate and pectineal lines that are uh, lines that are in the bone, no important for us that we are going ultrasound and the upper margin of the pubic symphysis. This produce a boundary between the lesser pelvis and the greater pelvis. Remember that the organ that we are going to scan are in the lesser pelvis. You have here in sagittal plane the division of the lesser pelvis, that is this one, and the greater pelvis that is superior to the lesser pelvis. The greater or false pelvis. Greater is the false pelvis, is the superior portion of the cavity. Not important organ are there with exception when the uterus in pregnancy is bigger. But in general, when we scan in the uterus, is in the lesser pelvis. The lesser or true pelvis. The true pelvis is the inferior part of the pelvic cavity and is the part of the pelvis where are the organs that we are to scan with ultrasound. False pelvis, true pelvis. In the true pelvis are the organs important for ultrasound. This is more obstetric. This is the inlet to the delivery, and this is the outlet of the delivery are not really important in ultrasound because we cannot scan bones, but are very important for obstetrics. You can see here, lesser pelvis, greater pelvis. Lesser pelvis is the true pelvis, and the greater pelvis is the false pelvis. The organ that we are going to scan, urinary bladder, uterus, ovaries, prostate, seminal vesicles are in the lesser or true pelvis. You can see here the difference between the male and female pelvis. The female pelvis is bigger, is developed to the delivery, the delivery of the newborns female pelvis are more wide to let the fetus be delivered. Male and female in x-ray you can see the same difference that we see in the other picture here. Male and female have different shapes of the pelvis for obvious reasons. Okay, the, here what is important, you know, you need to recognize the ilium, you need to recognize the articulation for the femur, acetabulum, you need to recognize the pubic and the pubic symphysis, the obturator foramen that had no letter here, the coccyx that is not part of the pelvis but is near the arcuate line that divide the lesser for the greater pelvis and the sacrum bone. This is the important part that I want you to remember. 
sacrum ilium acetabulum pubic ischium coxis and sacrum what are the muscles of the pelvis are in two groups muscle of the lower extremity obturator internus this is one of the muscles that are near the obturator foramen the piriformes is one muscle that go through the obturator foramen and the pelvic diaphragm that have a very important muscle that is the elevator of the ani and the coccygeus perineum the region of the body extending from the anus to the scrotum in male and from the anus to the vulva in females we are going to talking about something that is similar to hernias we're talking about the hernias in the other class we are going to talking about prolapse the protrusion of dropping of the uterus uterine prolapse rectum rectocele or bladder cystocele through the vagina you can see here the rectocele is the protrusion of the rectum through the vagina cystocele is the protrusion of the bladder through the vagina and is also associated with urinary incontinence a little review of the pelvic visceral organs there are three systems in the pelvis organ of the urinary system like the urinary bladder and the ureters and the urethra organ of the reproductive system like the uterus like the ovaries like the prostate like the seminal vesicles and organ of the digestive system that are not very important for ultrasound like the sigmoid colon or the rectum urinary ureters ureters are organs that you can see when are near the kidney in the pelvis of the kidney and you can see also when are coming to the urinary bladder near the urinary bladder but really when the ureters are in the middle are not easy to see because are posterior to the bowel and the bowel have gas and the gas interfere with the good picture ureters are not easy organ doctor love if you can localize a stone in the ureters but are not easy bladder is a good organ for ultrasound you can make a lot of diagnosis even the bladder have other device to make diagnosis but ultrasound can be the first step and can get very good information about disease of the urinary bladder stones the verticulums even the possibility of urinary cancer the urethra is not really an important organ for ultrasound is in the pelvic is different in male than female but it's not an organ that we use ultrasound to diagnose disease of the urethra ureters are two each kidney have one ureter that finish in the urinary bladder you can see here that i tell you you can see with ultrasound the ureters near the kidney you can see also the ureters here when are near the bladder but this area of the ureters are not really easy to scan with ultrasound because the bowel interfere with the ultrasound picture two very thin muscular tube about eight or nine inch long that transport urine from the kidney to the bladder a ureter as any organ that is a tube in the body have three layers the internal layer is called mucosa the middle layer is called muscular and the outer layer that is a fibrous tissue 
is called adventitia, exactly like the artery, exactly like a vein, exactly as other organs that also have mucous, epithelium, muscular layer, and the exterior layer or adventitia. A ureter has thick contracted wall and its diameter vary considerably at different points along its length. This is important because when there are stones, the stones prefer, uh, the stones are obstructed in some areas of the ureters. Bladder. Bladder is a good organ for ultrasound, a muscular organ located in the pelvic cavity and supported by the pelvic floor muscles. The bladder is a good organ to scan. You can get a lot of information and it's very common when you are ordered to scan the kidneys, you are ordered to, to scan the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder also have a special procedure to measure the quantity of residual urine and the percentage of urine that remain inside the urinary bladder. This is very good for patients with prostatic hypertrophy or in females with urine incontinence. Also, people that suffer of diabetes are good for bladder ultrasound. You can see here a ultrasound of the bladder is not very, very complex. A anechoic area filled with urine. And this is a transverse picture. And you can hear, I suppose, this is the prostate. It's a male. This is the urinary bladder. Skin, muscles, urinary bladder, and behind the urinary bladder, prostate. This is a picture with pathology. You can see here the shadow of a calculus that is in the urinary bladder. Other structure inside the urinary bladder that do not produce shadow, possible a polyp. A two, one here, other here. Two polyps do not produce shadow. And this is not a pathology, this is a Foley catheter. This is a Foley catheter inside the urinary bladder. And this is the urinary jet. This is something that happens. It's not really, really important in diagnostic. It's not a pathological, of course. This is Doppler inside the urinary bladder. And you can see in color when the urine is entering in the urinary bladder. This is good if you want to know if the patient is filling the bladder or need more water. Uretra, the tube that carry urine from the bladder to the outside. In women, this tube is fairly short. There are a lot of pathological problems in the uretra female. There are stenosis and there are a lot of infections that go to the urinary bladder through the female urethra, and this is because it's short. In men, it is longer passing through the penis, and it's also carry the semen. You can see in this picture also the vas deferens, the tube that put the spermatozoid in the seminal vesicles. Digestive organs of the pelvic cavity are not really important for ultrasound. We using ultrasound when we are going to make transrectal ultrasound. We use the rectum to put the transducer and in general it's not for diagnostic, it's to take biopsies of the prostate. This is the sigmoid colon. No good for ultrasound, the rectum, not good for ultrasound, and the anal canal that is very superficial have disease, but not for ultrasound diagnostic. Sigmoid colon, the portion of the colon shake like a letter S.
sigmoid colon like a letter S. You can see here sigmoid colon at the final of the descending colon. Distal to the descending colon. Rectum, the lowest portion of the large intestine that stores stool until it's expelled. And the final is the anal canal, that is the final of the digestive tube, and also is not a good organ for ultrasound, with the exception to using the anal canal and the rectum to scan the prostate and to take biopsies. It's situated between the rectum and the anus. In human, it's approximately 2.5 to 4 centimeters long. And the reproductive organs of the female that are the most important part of ultrasound in the pelvic cavity. Because uterus, when it's pregnant, cannot be used X-ray, that is invasive, to make diagnosis and the ovaries that have the ovums is not a good organ for x-rays or CT scan. This is for the reproductive female organ in general. The best device to make diagnosis is the ultrasound. Ultrasound is very important for the uterus and for the ovaries. The only organ that is not good for ultrasound is the vagina because it's easy to use the speculum to make diagnosis of possible disease of the vagina. Sometimes in some disease and in very young girls, you can use ultrasound to detect disease of the vagina. But in general, in adult female, it's easy to look directly through the speculum. Uterus, the peer-shaped organ in woman, very important for ultrasound. When the woman is pregnant, very important, but there are other diseases of the uterus that also are detectable with ultrasound, like fibromas, like uh, endometrial cancer, and in general, the uterus in pregnant woman or in not pregnant woman is a good organ for ultrasound diagnosis. You can see here the uterus, vagina uterus, the ovaries, the myometrium, that is the muscular part of the uterus, the fallopian tubes that are not easy to see with ultrasound, the ovaries that even are not easy are very important organ because you cannot use X-ray or CT scan in the ovaries because have the hereditary information that can be damaged for the CT scan or X-rays. This is a, a schematic picture of the uterus, the fallopian tooth, and this is good to look in the endometrium, that is the area where happened the pregnancy, the myometrium, that is the muscular part important in the delivery, the cervical canal that opens when the woman is going to get delivery, cervix, the inferior part of the uterus, the body in the middle, and the fundus here, the two fallopian tubes, and the ovaries. This is an endovaginal picture with inverted orientation of the uterus. You can see here the endometrium. The endometrium is the tissue that when the woman has menstruation, expel through the vagina. Endometrium, all the menstrual cycle get a new endometrium. This is a transabdominal picture of the uterus with the urinary bladder full of urine to improve the quality of the picture. This is the uterus, fundus, body, cervix, and the endometrium that is here. This area here is very important too. This is the Douglas pouch. This is where fluid 
accumulate in the Douglas pouch, exactly like the Morrison pouch between the liver and the kidney, the Morrison pouch is between the uterus and the rectum, this area where accumulate free fluid or blood in some case. This is an endovaginal transfer picture of the uterus showing the endometrium here and the myometrium here. This is a bicorn uterus, this is a special uterus that have a malformation that is not pear shaped that have like two different cavities, bicornual uterus. This is a pathology that is easy to see with ultrasound. Fallopian tooth, if there are not diseased, you cannot see with ultrasound because are very, very similar to the bowel. Two thin tubes that extend from each side of the uterus toward the ovaries as a pathway for the eggs and sperm and also for the zygote and the morula because remember that the fertilization occur in the fallopian tube approximately in this area that is called the ampulla ovaries the sexual glands very important for ultrasound ovaries are a dangerous organ with 90 different tumors are very good for ultrasound even sometimes are hard to scan because are a little organs in all women are hard to find because postmenopausal ovaries are little but even the ultrasound is the preferred device to diagnose the ovaries. The sexual gland of the female which produce the hormone estrogen and progesterone and in which the ova or ovum are developed. You can see one picture of the ovary, a endovaginal ultrasound of the pelvic cavity that show a big ovary. It's normal but looking good. And here here a little follicle. This is normal for the ovaries to produce follicles that are like a little cyst, little structure filled with fluid. This is a ovary with multiple follicles. This is other ovary, maybe probably a polycystic ovary with multiple follicles or cysts and a coic structure because are filled with fluid. This is other endovaginal pelvic study because you cannot see the urinary bladder. Remember, if you see the urinary bladder, this is a transabdominal. If you cannot see the urinary bladder, that means that it's an endovaginal study. And of course, in endovaginal study, you take better picture of the ovary as when you scan transabdominal. Other ovary with four or five follicles very good picture, also a endovaginal study. This is a complex ovary muscle mixed with an echoic, hypoechoic or hyperechoic structure that really, really need to be biopsied or getting out of the area. This is a very ugly picture with the possibility of malignancy. Vagina. Vagina is not an organ for ultrasound with the exception that we use to penetrate the probe inside the patient, but the disease, disease of the vagina are better for a speculum for directly observation of the mucosa of the vagina. The muscular canal extending from the uterus to the exterior of the body, also called the birth canal. Okay, in this picture I want you to recognize the uterus, 
the rectum, the pouch of Douglas, that is very important because it's where accumulate free fluid, the vagina, the urethra, the urinary bladder, and the ovary. This is the organ that I want you know and remember. Reproductive organ in male are only good for prostate and seminal vesicle, but seminal vesicle are a organ that when you scan the prostate you take picture also the seminal vesicle, not a common protocol. Prostate is also not a common protocol. Prostate, the gland in the male located below the bladder that secretes some of the fluid in semen. This is the prostate inferior to the bladder. This is a ultrasound of the prostate with the orientation invert and this hypoechoic area here is the prostate other picture of the prostate with something that I can suppose are calcifications that are common in the prostate, microcalcification, and the ductus deferens that is an organ that in general is not suited for ultrasound diagnosis, a sigwallet tubular structure that carries sperm from the testicle to the penis. Ductus deferens, seminal vesicles, two sac with open in the top of the male urethra, the secretion from this vesicle form part of the seminal fluid, but even the principal organ that produces the seminal fluid is the prostate. In the male, the organ in the pelvis of the male, I want you to recognize the urinary bladder, the ureter, the rectum, the seminal vesicle, very important, the prostate, this is not the pelvic cavity, this is not the pelvic cavity, and for this I want urinary bladder, ureter, rectum, seminal vesic, and the most important, prostate. And Thank you very much.